Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you guys how I style a piece from my closet. I'm going to show you five different ways on how to style a leather jacket. I love these kinds of videos um, because I have pieces in my closet that I have no idea how to style or how I would even wear them. And I did just get a leather jacket for my birthday. It's a faux leather jacket. Um, from I believe Gap, so I will link it down below if it's still available. If not, I'll link similar ones. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you for five different ways to style a jacket that is either something that's fancy or something that's a little more casual that you can run out and use more on a day-to-day -day basis. If you guys have any questions on anything, leave them in the comments down below. Let's get started. Must you be right there? <laughs> okay, so for this first look, uh, I kind of went for more like a casual date night or a date day. Um, Cody and I like to go out to lunch sometimes on the weekends, and I just thought that this was a better look. Get out of the presents. <laughs> um, and then I just paired it with this really cute turtleneck. You can see it has a little bit of fringe on it, and I just love it so much. It keeps me nice and warm with my leather jacket and my Levi's. And then I have these really cute Steve Madden snakeskin boots that have the black heel in them. I really like this look for a day with the lighter jeans, the lighter sweater. It kind of brightens up the leather jacket, makes it not so, like, harsh. Um... So yeah, I just think it's super cute. And then, you know, if you're walking around outside where it's cold where you are, you could even put a cute little hat on and your purse and you're pretty good to go. This leather jacket has really cute pockets and zippers. I don't know if you can see, but really cute zippers on it, on the sleeves. And yeah, um, so I just think that this is a great outfit, even for like, going out to lunch with your girlfriends or something. Just super cute. Okay, so this is the next outfit. Really? <laughs> okay, Sky's gonna join us. Um, so this is the next outfit. I wanted to do like a cute flowy dress. Um, a lot of people, at least on my Instagram, have asked how to style like these flowier dresses when you want to give it a little more shape and I think putting a jacket on is just the perfect way to do that. Um, I love to style now that it's getting colder even with tights on with flowy dresses like this that just don't have much of a shape to them but they're just so comfortable and putting on a cute little leather jacket kind of makes it a little more edgy and I really really like it um, and then just adding the little black booties these are I think I've had these for I want to say at least six years now I have worn them to death they're Franco Sardo they look horrible from up close and personal but they're just so comfortable I can't get rid of them. So yeah, this is a great way. I mean, if you have, again, a cute little dinner with your significant other or even a cute little girls night out, such a cute way of taking one of those like flowier dresses and giving you a little bit of shape. Um, excuse me. Don't mind the mess, I have pizza. What? What? You push, this is what we're barking at because we are so needy. Here, here, don't do that again. <laughs> anyway, this is a really cute option if you have, you know, a girls' night out or something like that. Even a baby shower would be really cute for a bachelorette party if you have any of those coming up. But yeah, super comfortable with these flowy dresses. This one is from Altered State. Um, I'll link it below if they still have it. They usually have pretty good sales going on. So this is my next outfit. Um, I actually love this outfit the most. I 
feel like I would wear this one out to like a date night with Cody or maybe going to a really fun concert just depending on like what kind of concert or you know what we're doing for date night but I really really love this so it's a little bit darker but I really like the kind of edginess and then I paired it with my favorite Dolce Vita boots that I'm obsessed with. Cannot get enough of them and if I can pair them with any outfit I will because I love them and they're so comfortable. Highly recommend. <laughs> um, but I paired it with this really cute graphic altered state tee. Um, it just I think says Austin on it. And then I got these really cute, kind of distressed black um, with the one slit in the knee. They're from Old Navy. Um, but yeah, this outfit is super cute and comfortable. And I just, you know, I think this is my favorite one out of all of them. And I would wear this 24 seven, especially when my style was a little bit edgier. It used to be like this when I had my old leather jacket. And now I'm trying to get back into it slightly. <laughs> so we'll see. But yeah, super cute option, date night, concerts, going out with the girlfriends. So my last two outfits that I have are definitely more um, casual, more comfy, and I have tried to style joggers forever because I feel like so many people look cute in them and I just can't pull them off. I feel like I always feel like a bum. I never know what to wear on top. So this is kind of like a two in one kind of thing. Um, this is a great like running out for errands, breakfast kind of thing. Sky, <laughs> they're not for you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just have on my Adidas sneakers. I have on some airy high-waisted joggers and then I just have on this cute little black kind of crop top that ties in the front and then the leather jacket on top and this little Adidas beanie that I got from I think TJ Maxx and I really like this outfit <laughs> if anything I think these are just the most comfortable thing ever and I feel like before I definitely couldn't pull off this look but I feel like I kind of can now with the leather jacket. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I can pull it off. So if you guys have any doubts of wearing joggers, denim jacket, leather jacket. It's the way to go, makes the outfit cute, and it just makes it work. So yeah, breakfast, um, out running errands really quick, going to the grocery store anything I feel like even going for like lunch I feel like I could kind of pull off this look <laughs> depends where you're going but it's super cute super comfortable and I'll link these joggers down below if they still have them at Aerie because Aerie lately has been having amazing sales and amazing joggers and I kind of want to buy like one in every color <laughs> but yeah super cute Okay, so this outfit is definitely the, I would say, uh, most casual. This one and the joggers one. Um, but this I just have on some high-waisted leggings. These are the 90 Degree by Reflux. I swear by them. I will link them down below. You can get them off of Amazon. And I just have on this airy hooded sweatshirt and I like that the hood adds just a little bit of casualness to the leather jacket and it just makes it dresses it super down so you can literally just throw it on and then I throw on this Carhartt ball cap and I just love throwing on a hat when I'm running out errands I'll tie my hair back and I'll just throw on a pair of comfy shoes. These are my Franco Sardo boots. I can wear running sneakers with this outfit. Um, Nikes, whatever you have. And it's just a easy go-to outfit. So the hood really dresses down the, I guess would say fanciness of 
the leather faux leather jacket but it's just super comfortable for running out doing errands grocery shopping picking up kids if you have kids going to the dog park if you have, if you're a dog mom and yeah it's just super cute and comfortable and i will be wearing this pretty much all winter <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you guys have anything that you need help being styled. If you have a certain dress or a pair of jeans or a pair of boots, sneakers, or even some accessories, some different hats or things like that. If you need help styling them, I can make a bunch of these videos. I know that you guys really liked the last one. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.